the Blackhawks have scored just seven goals in their last six playoff games, dating back to last year's first round series with St. Louis. They're down 2 0 to Toronto, and this is must win time tonight. Here is Felix Potvan. This is where he played his first NHL game, November 14th, 91. Brilliant in a 2 0 loss to Chicago. He's been beaten just once, though, in these playoffs. Eddie Belfour, as promised, bounced right back after a first game 5 1 loss. All he needs now is for his mates to get him two or three. Toronto, starting with Eastwood, Krushaniski, and Manderville. There's the referee, Paul Stewart, Jerry Goche, and Shane Heyer will be on the lines. Center, Graham, and Pennyworth starting for Chicago. Now they had a great start in game two at Maple Leaf Gardens. And of course came on empty as everybody knows. They want to get a big start tonight here on home ice. Carney tried a shot. It gets in front of the net. Dirk Green turning around on the boards and can't get a shot and the Leafs get it out. Again the Blackhawks are forechecking early now. They're making some quick changes. Allowing the Leafs McCown to get it up to Krushaniski and Eastwood is on the move. Out of the net is Belfort, jammed it up on the glass by Eastwood. And the Blackhawks send two away. Here's Ronick, the big guy. He went in and tried a shot that was deflected wide. It gets out of front. The big line for the Hawks, Roenick, Murphy, and Amonte had not scored in games one and two. But very quickly here, before the first minute of play, the Hawks do what they often do in Chicago, get a lead. Amonte fished the puck out from underneath Felix Potvin, stepped past Dave Ellett and put it into an empty net. Chicago won. Toronto nothing. Will draw an assist for sure. Kearney also getting an assist. 49 seconds into the first period. Amonti gives Chicago a 1 0 lead. The Leafs kept their first shot in on goal, and Belfort went down on one knee and had the crowd buzzing a little bit. It took a funny hop and hit him on the right pad. Eisenhardt rolled it over center ice. Poulin trying to go in. Bumped by McCown. Lost his stick in the process. Again, Chicago for checking. Three of them were in deep. And the Leafs had to shoot it down the ice. Smith is back. And that is an icing call against Toronto. Let's have a look at the lineup for tonight's game. The Leafs made two changes, not on defense. Pat Burns, one of the few coaches in the NHL that will change his lineup after a win. John Cullen's in, Mike Krusilniski's in. And they replace McCray and Borshevsky. Baumgart is still not healthy enough to play. Bialoas can return to St. John's. American Hockey League. Pat Burns was telling me this morning, the first 10 minutes, you have to survive the first 10 minutes in Chicago to have any chance of winning. One goal down after 10 gives you a chance. If they get two, Bob, it might be a long night. He was saying coming over on the bus tonight to Chicago Stadium, he could not get a read on his players. It was very quiet in that charter bus. Well, the Blackhawks came out all the fire and got the first goal. They're leading one to nothing. Gilmore gets his first shift. Clark and Gartner are the wingers for Gilmore. Here's Mike Gartner across center. Gilmore is up on the play and heading for the net. Into the far corner he goes. The Blackhawks are all back though, and Suter will clear it ahead. Murphy trying to race in. Ellett got back with him. Murphy went into the boards heavily, and the net is knocked off the moorings as Amaki is in. And the crowd is loving the way the Blackhawks are coming out here in the first period and the first penalty has been called against Toronto. Rouse. 
Well, things not going right for the Leafs. An early goal against, an early penalty against. The Hawks practiced their power play for 40 minutes yesterday in practice. We'll find out whether it does any good at all. In front of the net, the interference penalty to Bob Rouse will put the Leafs further back on their heels here. Just a minute, 46 seconds into the game. Here's another look at the penalty. The Hawks are going to the net with the puck, and they're going to the net without the puck. And there's the interference call. He had his choice. Gilmore or Rouse, he'd have been right either way. Rouse coming in behind the Chicago player and threw him into the goal post. He's off for interference. Chicago one, Toronto nothing. They haven't played two minutes yet in this first period. Well, Daryl Sutter gets what he wants, an early goal. He said, we have to get the lead. We haven't had it in the series yet. Sutter at the blue line trying to shot and hit a leg. And Berg couldn't get it by Suter, stopped it out the line and kept it in. There's another penalty coming up against Toronto, I believe. They're going to be short two players now as Paul Stewart has called a second penalty against the Leafs. And this one is a high stacking call. Now Berg is starting to move over to the penalty box. Here he comes. Boy, this is a tough spot. The whole the Leafs are digging for themselves is getting deeper by the second. 11 seconds on the left. On the left of your screen, you're gonna see it. Burke shoots the puck out and then brings the stick up on Roenick. Boy, a tough penalty. A tough penalty 11 seconds into the first penalty. Pat Burns gives you that smile, that smile of disapproval. A minute 49 left to the Rouse penalty. Now Bill Berg joins him in the penalty box. Chicago has the first goal on the board as you look at Berg being checked along the boards and he got a stick up. Here's Suter from the blue line. He passed to the other side and Chelios ripped the shot in front of the net again. He's And shoots it by Potvin to Potvin's left, two nothing. And they remain on the power play for another 145. Amani has scored at 49 seconds and at 207. Chelios and Suter assisting on the power play goal, two nothing Chicago. Suter dumps it in. Ronick is coming up there and using the body. Back to Chelios, fake the pass to Suter. Played it into the side of the net. Roenick has bumped off the puck. Chelios again, waiting. Decides to try to shoot it at the net. It was blocked by McCown, and he pushed it down the ice. 1-10 left in the penalty to Berg of Toronto. Chicago with two goals. And moving up again on the power play. Roenick, Pullen, centered it. Isabart nearly scored. It is Pullen and Isabart. Back to the line, it goes to the big shot, Chelios. Off his stick and bounce to the board. Sooner now might get one. He decides to pass it through his skates to Chelios. It got out over the line. 40 seconds left on the lead penalty to Berg, and Rutu coming in. His shot deflected off the boards, and Popan stopped the pass out. Poulin missed it behind the goal, it hopped over the stick. Suter at the blue line, lost it against Gilmore. Up with Gartner, and a good play by Weinrich. The speaks to Gartner was nearly home free. 18 seconds left in the second lead penalty, and there's going to be a Chicago penalty coming up now when the Hawks gain possession. Here it is, the first Chicago penalty with 10 seconds left in the lead penalty to Berg. Chicago leads two to nothing. 
Well, Paul Stewart ruling with an iron hand. A very debatable call on Bird, especially for a second penalty. And this one on Christian Rutu for cross-checking. Two minutes for cross-checking at 3.47. Blackhawk penalty Rutu. Two minutes Come on. At 347. What is this? Touch football Black tonight? And the power play is this crowd's geared up for a game. By number 10, a game Lundin. Paul Stewart would love to play in. Seven, he's called three Chippewa. penalties in the first number 20, four Gary minutes, Suter, only one of them. A what? playoff Black type Black penalty. Bill Berg's penalty Stewart was Chippewa. on the questionable Stewart. side. He had a stick up, but how far up? Montreal getting off to an early. Lead on Boston with one on the net. He was a doubtful starter. He has started for the Canadians. It's a big game for Montreal tonight. Berg is ready to come back out. Five seconds remaining in his penalty. Puck in the Chicago zone, and now Berg is on the ice. The Leafs on a power play. Two nothing Chicago. Hotman stopped that long shot from Chelios. Great accuracy from Chelios. Center Gill. Ian Andrew check the win. Gilmore is on the ice with Clark. Clark in the corner trying to come up with it. It is not loose. Chelios is there. Goes back to the blue line to Ella. Ella shoots one. Scramble in front of the net. Clark missed on the short side. And the Blackhawks will fire it away and hit Gill. Just got over the line. Brent Sutter now picks the opening to clear it down the ice. 110. Left in the penalty to Chicago. Rutu in the penalty box. Leafs put it in offside. And will retire this building at 65 years. Question is how many more games tonight and tomorrow against Toronto? They have to win one to keep it alive. Toronto up in the series 2 nothing. Here's Miranov putting it up behind the net. Power play for Toronto with 40 seconds remaining on it. It's knocked down the ice. Miranov will take it near his own line. Slip it ahead. Offside is called at the Chicago Blue Line. Well, the Chicago Blackhawks have had everything go their way so far tonight. They've been dominant on the scoreboard. Gilmore, of course, is a marked man for the Leafs. Gary Suter making sure the takeout against the glass. Those guys shared a happy moment together in Calgary, but those days are gone. They're bitter enemies right now, and the Leafs need the next goal to get back into this game, not only on the scoreboard, but in their minds. Amonti has two goals for Chicago. His first and second of the playoffs. It is 2-0 Blackhawks. We are nearing the six-minute mark of the first period. Rutu ready to come back on. He'll be on in 12 seconds. The Leafs shoot it in. Big rebound off the boards. Toronto on it. Cullen. Back to Marinov. His shot deflected at the side of the net. Kearney picks it up for Chicago, gets it ahead. The penalty is over. There's Rutu. Leaves Marinov dumping it in and going off on a change. Blackhawks leading two to nothing, and Cullen intercepts. Weak shot in on the net, and that was stopped by Belfour, and he smothered it. Bob Cole and Harry Neal. Broadcast booth at the Chicago Stadium. And the Blackhawks are off to an early lead, two to nothing. Both goals by Amonti at 49 seconds and a 2 7 Well, the two workhorses for the Hawks are the two defensemen, Chris Chelios and Gary Suter. This is one reason why the Leafs were not upset at all about playing Friday and Saturday, or Saturday and Sunday, rather than Friday and Sunday. These two guys, they thought, might pay the price in game four. But game three, they're full of energy at the moment. And Toronto are on their heels. The Maple Leafs start up to center ice. Manderville gets over the Chicago line. Rubbed out along the boards. And Belfour put it dangerously high. 
Got on the glass and stayed in, though. The Pave is back there, and he is covered in his own zone. Couldn't get the puck off the boards. Green tried to kick it loose and got it loose. Boots it back, and there was Manderville. Giving it to Eastwood, coming out with Rouse. Up over the line with Eastwood and Kruszelniski going in. Balfour again, electing to come out. And that was a good move to clear it away. Chicago and the Leafs bumping a bit now. Kruszelniski is not flying by Green. At the line, it's Ellick. And to push it up along the boards in back of the net, Kruszelniski centered it. Nobody in front, though. And the Blackhawks easily come out to center. Wilkinson shoots it from center ice. Clark chopped at it. It gets all the way back, hit the Chicago player going off. 2-0 Blackhawks leading. Here's Murphy. Shoots, scores! Murphy makes it 3-0 as he blasts one by Potvin on the stick side. Well, the Leafs got caught making a change, Bob, on this one. And in this short neutral zone, a blue line to blue line pass. And here it is right here. You can see the leap right defenseman didn't have time to get all the way over. But Puckman should have had it. Rouse went into the middle of the rink. Here's the look at it from Puckman's viewpoint. The perfect shot just ticked off the post at a 45 footer. Good hard shot by Joe Murphy. And that's his first goal of the playoff. So Amaki has scored his first and second. And now Murphy, and it's very quickly a 3-0 Chicago lead. Boy, they're coming again. Amaki shot it on the boards for Jeremy Roenick going after Ellett. Ellett made a quick pass. And the Leafs get it up to Gardner through center ice with a long shot. Gloved very confidently by Ed Belfour. Hard shot by Gartner, but lots of time for Belfour, and he saw it all the way. Hill. The hero in game two. Along with the goaltender, Puckman for Toronto. Four in overtime. Gartner moving up again with Gilmore. Another quick shot by Gartner, but he missed the net this time. Jelios was back. Gartner bumped him. He made his play, though, to pull him. Up across center and dropping it for Eisenberg, cutting for the net with a pass. The shot, here's a chance for Carney. Moving in, shooting, rebound, puff and down. And he hangs on to it this time, and the Leafs are going to chase Eisenberg out of there. He was in walking away at puff as the Leaf goalie had the puck smothered. But the Hawks are really coming at the Maple Leafs in this first period. They're leading three to nothing. 11:25 remaining in the first period. Chicago out shooting Toronto eight to five and leading three to nothing. A pair of goals by Amonti and the other by Murphy. You can see Gochi got a cut on his forehead between his eyes. He went over to the timer's bench on the commercial timeout and got uh, a little bit of first aid. Chicago will control the puck on the faceoff in the lead zone. Centered again. Rouse this time will move it ahead. Carney waited for that and shot it back to Rouse. Again, it's dumped in by Dubinsky on Chicago. Marinoff trying to move it out. Carney stops it again and shoots it in. Leaves on able to get organized. Andrew Chuck is bumped. Centering pass skipped away. And the Pearson. Out over his own line to Rouse. Rouse steps in over the Chicago line. Trying to go in. And he was stopped by Weinrich, but there's going to be another penalty called against the Chicago Blackhawks. Pearson was dumped in front of the net. He Might have resulted in the Chicago penalty. Blackhawk penalty, Shantz. Two minutes for slashing at 9.17. Jeff Shantz was caught slashing here at 9.17. Take a look at the right hand side of your screen, number 11. Hit Pearson right in front of the net. Amonti with two. 
Joe Murphy with the other goal. 3 0 Chicago lead here in the first. Leaf power play again. Gilmore, Clark, Gartner, Gill, and Ellen. Suter trying to clear it. Got it up to Green. And he made sure it got by Todd Gill. Gill passes one back to Ellett. He gets over the blue line and then gives it to Clark. He had to move back from Chelios, who was coming at him. Brent Sutter missed it. The Leafs now get it in there. It's centered. Gill knocked down a high one. Trying to turn away from Brent Sutter. Lost it on the board. Sutter moving in. Two players falling to the ice on the puck, and that stops the play. Well, because the Leaf player Todd Gill fell on it, the faceoff will be outside the blue line. The shots are eight to five, but the chances to score are five Chicago, none for the Leafs. Eddie Belfour has not had to make any kind of a difficult stop. It's been all Hawks. Toughest shot he has seen was from Gartner, and that came from 65 feet. Coming up to the halfway mark of the first period. 3-0 Chicago. Leaves on a power play. Again, good penalty killing by Chicago. Green was in deep. That allows Gill to move away, and he gets up over the line. Has to dump it off to the corner for Gartner going in. Clark is bumped. Gilmore on the puck. Clark waits for the pass. Takes it. Up front, Ellett. Door! Ellett took the quick pass from Clark and took a shot that I believe was deflected in front of Belfour. And Toronto gets the power play goal, and that makes it 3-1. to one. Well, Doug Gilmore, right here, gets the puck past Chelios to Gartner. It comes right out to Dave Ellett as number 12, Brent Sutter got in a way too far as he was worried about Gartner in front. And Wendell Clark made the pass, not Gartner. And you're right, it hit somebody's stick and went between the legs of the goaltender, Eddie Balfour. So the Leafs are back in, 9.45 to go in the first period, 3-1 Hawks. 10.15 the time of the Leaf goal. The first of the playoffs for Dave Allen. Clark and Gilmore assisted on that power play goal by Toronto. That makes it three to one. Balfour is waiting back there, decides he'll play it. Weinrich gave it away. Quick shot is wide of the net. Here's Cecil trying to center. Gets it out front. It was deflected back of the net again, and the Blackhawks get it over the line. Poulin racing in on the left side against Lefebvre. And LaFave stays right with his man. But the Black Hawks steal it. It's centered again. Weinrich was in deep. Poulin left it. And it's centered a second time. Eisenhart coming close. Berg now will clear it out of the zone for Toronto. Up to center is the defenseman McCown. His long shot grabbed by Belfour. Collin for checking, but they got the puck by him. Ronick shot it into Toronto territory. Murphy after him, made a good play, and Papa made a big stop as Amati was in clear and a bit for his third goal of the period. But a fine stop by Putfan. Well, the Leafs have had a deplorable time in their own zone. This time, Murphy goes in and gets the puck from Potvan, puts it to Amante. He's got a 10-footer that he can't bury. Face off deep in the lead zone. Rouse left it for Ellett. Ellett poked a high one out and it went off a leaf stick. Manderville got a stick up and it went over the boards at the leaf bench. So they'll bring it back inside the Maple Leaf line for this next face off. 3 1 here. Chicago leading Toronto. Face off to the left of Putfan. Chicago won it, but very quickly. The Leafs cleared out and down the ice. Wilkinson coming back. Koshelniski. Got away from him easily. Got it up over center. Dubinsky couldn't carry on on that play. And Eastwood dropped it back. Lefebvre for Manderville. Manderville covered. Two Hawks on him. And Wilkinson shot it behind his own net. Now Dubinsky up to center. 
pass through center ice. Shantz nearly got a label, just did miss the hit. He's trying to get it out again. Blackhawks really alive early in the game. Three quick goals. Toronto back with one. Leaves changing. Nearly got caught there. Dubinsky had to roll it in, and now he's going off. Five Leafs are on the far side as he came down to the left wing. But he was on the end of a long shift. Chelio stopping the puck near center ice. Blasts it back in and puck fan this time. Stopped it cleanly behind the net. Gill poked into the corner. There's Murphy again centering it. Turning around. Shot to the corner. Murphy and Ronick in on that forechecking play. And there's going to be a faceoff again in the Toronto zone to the left of Potvin. Well, Eddie Belfour stealing a page out of Grant Fuhr's book. Remember those great Oiler teams when you changed on the fly? Fuhr got it up to the red line. Here's the shoot in. The Leafs are all going to the bench. Belfour sees that, quickly passes it up to Davinsky, who gets a chance to at least gain the zone if he wanted to as the Leaf players are coming at him from the bench. 7-14 left in the opening period. Chicago rewarded for their spirited start. Amante at 49 seconds and again on a power play at 2.07. Then Murphy at 7.23. And on a Leaf power play, Dave Ellett at 10.15. 3-1. <laughs> Toronto starting up, led by Clark. Got to the Chicago line and was bumped. Ellen has to wait. Now he shoots it in, and it's Chelios. Suter's pass to center ice. Ronick played it in on the right wing. Murphy was there to pick it up, and now Suter from the line. Shot it off the back of the net. As he carried it off the boards to the right of Putfang. Suter drives one. Putfang kicked out the left pad and made that save. Clark gets it out over his own line. Gilmore bumped a bit, and Clark comes in to help him. Now Gartner for Gill. Gill getting set. Low shot, hit Clark. He centered it. Gilmore in front of the net, couldn't make contact. And Chicago had three skating in. Green drops it. Center shot, a fine glove save by Putfan. Good rush by Chicago. The drop pass and a good shot. Putt a fine save. Brent Sutter keeping the puck inside the Toronto line. Pearson gets it ahead and just out. Blackhawks do not get back onside. Cunningworth thought the play was onside. It was not. Well, the Leafs, I know, were instructed in their own zone. Never mind the great little breakout passes. The reverses get the puck into the neutral zone when you get your stick on it because you're going to find the Hawks will forecheck all five guys with the defenseman pinching right to the icing line. Six minutes left in the first period. It is 3 1 Chicago. Puck is shot in over the line and offside now at the Chicago line. Carney in for Chicago and Graham. Backhander stop, rebound. Knocked out of the air by Rouse. Comes back to the line by Miranov, rather. And here's Rouse picking it up and lifting a high one to center ice. Honeyworth went in there to hit Rouse. 520 left of the period. Chicago three, Toronto one. Pearson got the pass and then got a hit from Carney. Miranov couldn't get by Carney. Pearson comes back. Cunningworth chased him. Roenick is up there for checking. And the Leafs shoot at the center ice. But the Blackhawks very vigorous in the early going in this game. Here's Carney again. High one goes in. Might get to the net. Rouse couldn't reach it. Poulin and uh, McCown fell on the puck as Poulin tried to pass it in front to the defenseman Suter who was coming in for the line. Paul Stewart, who made himself uh, clearly recognized as a referee tonight with a lot of early penalties, seems to have uh, made his point, and now the players are behaving. This is 
Paul Stewart's grandfather, who in 1938 coached the Chicago Blackhawks to the Stanley Cup. And you can see by the picture, Satch and the Bowery boys are celebrating in the dressing room of the Chicago Blackhawks. Four minutes and 45 seconds remaining in the first period. Here's Poland trying to set it up again. He did. But Lefebvre got a stick on that in front of Puff and tipped it down the ice. Chelios cleared the zone quickly. Dave's pass that will go on an open wing and Chelios there to stop it. Route two with him but Clark steals it. Gives it to Gartner. He comes in. Gartner trying to get in with a shot. He did. Blocker saved by Belfour and Clark kept coming and robbed Belfour on the play. Gartner deep in his own zone. On the net he goes looking for skating room and the Blackhawks do not want to give him any skating room. And they didn't that time. Gilmore lost it, got it back again. Chance would have been alone. Chelios just outside the line, tipped it in there. Rich Sutter coming in. Chance, Sutter, and Puck Fag and makes a big stop. Chance and Sutter were in. Blackhawks lead three to one. Nearly made it four at that time. But another fine stop by Puck Felix Potvin, who might have had the third goal, has made three big stops since to keep the Hawks at three. And here is a good example of what I'm talking about right now. A two-on-one, Chance gets that chance, and then the Hawks are cleared out of the way by Jamie McCown. Mike Gardner, I don't think there's any doubt about it, is a better winger than a center. He and Anderchuk, 13 shots, two points in games one and two. You can see why you'd like to use Gardner at center. He's a great skater, but he's used to patrolling up and down the right wing. Pat Burns putting him with Gilmore and Clark tonight. And they have had a, a couple of the few Leaf chances. Three minutes and 34 seconds remaining in the first period. Shots are 13 to 10 in favor of Chicago. Zesselberg and Osborne for Toronto. Chance is on there for Chicago. He remains on. Smith, the defenseman, moving it out. There's Rick Sutter down the right wing. Coming up is Dubinsky on the play. He got in front of the net, but Sutter couldn't get the puck over to him. Still trying back there, but Zenzel is in there for Toronto. To Berg. No place to go, so he shot it away to center ice. Blackhawks bring it back in. Dubinsky was for him. Coming out, Osborne banked it on the boards for Cecil. And with the pass, goal! Cecil made the play in front of the net. And Bill Berg gets Toronto very close now. It's 3-2. to two. Now A nice backhand pass by Cecil. The Hawks allowed Berg to go to the net without the puck. Cecil takes the little pass here from Osborne. And nobody, as you can see, takes Berg and he goes to the net all by himself. Jeremy Rolnick seemed to have him here, and he did have him now, but let him go. And he walks in and redirects Cecil's nice pass to make it 3-2. The goal is first of the playoffs, scored by number 10, Bill Burr. Assisted by number 25, Peter Cecil. Number 21, Mark Osborne at 17.02. The line getting Final together goal for that goal, Cecil. And Osborne assisting on the goal by Berg at 17.02. That makes it Chicago 3, Toronto 2. 3 nothing. start for Chicago. Leaf player Manderville is on the ice and are hurt on that last play. Well, it looked like an elbow, but our good replay people show us that it's a stick that comes up. Hard gargling that tape. So once again, Toronto on the power play. Ellett scored on a lead power play earlier. The first goal of the period. Now they have a chance to tie it up. And it looked like all Chicago in this first 20 minutes. 2.30 remaining in the first period. Lifted high down the ice by the goaltender. 
Belford, 2.20 left in the period. Leaves come back. Ellett is stopped in there. Can't move it off the boards. Pretty good penalty killing there by Dirk Graham of Chicago. He got through a few seconds for his team. 120 left in the penalty. Two minutes in the period. Leaves power play with a chance to tie it. Now Ellett fires a high one in. Gilmore is the first one on it. He goes back to the goal with Clark and Andrew Chuck trying to center it. The Blackhawks, Chelios can't get it out. And it's Andrew Chuck. Tried to pass it to Gilmore in front. Kept into the corner. Gilmore again centered it. But there's Brent Sutter to pick it up. And he cleared it away to Murphy. 135 left in the period. Chicago's Jeremy Roenick coming in and trying to spin away from Dave Ellett. Gilmore trying to get the puck off the boards, but down goes Ronick on the puck. It'll bring the faceoff outside the line, but it sure slows the Leafs for now with 42 seconds left in the Weinrich penalty. Well, Jeremy Ronick taking a page out of Denny Savard's one-on-one -on -one tricks, tries to spin a rama play on Dave Ellett. Here comes Dave Ellett across to take him, never looks at the puck and takes Roenick into the corner of the rink without going for that move right there. Nice play by Ellen and a rather original attempt by Jeremy Roenick. 124 remaining in the period. 35 seconds left and the penalty to Chicago. 3-2 is the score, Chicago leading. Toronto moving up. Gartner shoots it from center ice in Balfour. Gave it away this time and nearly cost himself a goal as he tried to shoot it down the ice. And the Leafs blocked it. One minute left in the period. One minute to play in the period. 3 2 Chicago. Ten seconds left on the power play and a long shot into the corner. Bell four out again. This time just knifed it over to the boards. Chicago will bring it out. Up to center. Three of them. Rich Sutter is bumped, but he keeps going with Suter. It is centered, and Route 2 fanned on it. The penalty is over. Chicago at full strength. Pearson on the puck and coming in for Toronto and lifting a high one over the net. Another penalty called against Chicago. 30 seconds remaining in the period. They just killed off the penalty to Weinrich, and they're going to have to do it all over again as Suter gets the tripping penalty. Well, he tried to hit Pearson, and Pearson got almost completely out of the way. And you're going to see number 20 coming across right here. Black tries to get him with the hip, misses Suter, with the hip, and takes his feet from underneath him for the tripping play. The bottom right of your screen will show you right there. There's the leg out. So the Leafs will get a 30-second power play before the intermission. 1929. The time of the tripping penalty to Suter, 3-2 Chicago. Face off in the Chicago zone, and Gilmore won it. Marinov doesn't shoot it, Clark might coming in, the shot, and it was blocked by Chelios. Chelios poked it down the ice, and Papa is going to come out before Brent Sutter had a chance to move in on it. Brent Sutter after it with 15 seconds left of the period. Marinov moving out quickly, 10 seconds left. Long shot, Belfour, easy stop. Scooped it away to Sutter, and he'll end the period by shooting it down the ice to Potfang. And the siren goes, ending the first period here in Chicago with the shots even, 13 apiece. Bob Cole back with Harry Neal at the Chicago Stadium, and the Toronto Maple Leafs on the power play as we start the second period. It is 3-2 Chicago. 123 left in the Chicago penalty. And the Leafs start up. Marinov gets away from one check and gets over the Chicago line. Puck is nearly chopped away down the ice. But the Leafs keep it in. Here's the backhand by Andrichuk. That hit a leg, and the Leafs are on it quickly. Gardner fires a pass to Gilmore. Back to Gardner. And Brent Sutter intercepted, and Green will clear the zone. From center, he rolls it into the Toronto zone. 53 seconds left in the power play. Once again, Marinov coming to center. 
Shoots it in on the boards, and here's Gardner picking it up very quickly, but he couldn't control it. Stopped by Allen, his drive comes right back to him and hit Murphy right in front of the net. Comes back to Marinov now. Scores! Marinov has tied the game for the Maple Leafs on a power play to start the second period. Well, Marinov changed his mind. He was going to shoot it. Then he wanted to pass it. And then he let a bullet wrist shot go. Gartner sticks it back to Mirnoff. He walks in. He's going to give it to Gartner. Then he changes his mind and really wires one from the top of the circle or just outside the top of the circle. Now Chicago looks like they're two men down because Jeremy Roenick went down the block at Dave Ellett's shot and it hit him right in the helmet and went off his helmet. So he was lying against the boards when Mirnoff scored. One minute on the nose. The Leafs have tied it here in the second period. Miranov from Gartner and Ellick. So it's 3-3 on that power play goal by Dmitry Miranov. So the Toronto Maple Leafs have wiped out a 3-0 Chicago lead to start the hockey game. And it looked like the Blackhawks were really on a roll, but the Leafs climbed back slowly, and now they've tied it up. Weinrich is back of his own net. Put it up to Poulin, and he's across the line to center. Poulin shot it over the Maple Leaf blue line, and Toronto will clear it again. Fave turning back from Route 2 and giving it to McCown. Up to Berg. Berg has two Chicago players after him. But he fights for it along the boards near the Chicago blue line. Eastwood getting his stick up. He and Kearney were pushing. Here's Rick Sutter trying to get loose. Sutter centered it. Chances shot as high over the net. Nice play by Rick Sutter who's in there throwing the weight around now in the Toronto zone. Here comes Sutter with another hit. Chance centered it. Put by the save. Sutter backhander and McCown blocked that shot. Sutter hits McCown. That's about four hits for Rick Sutter on this shift. Here he is number 15 in the corner for Chicago. And the Toronto player falls on the puck and Sutter wants to have a chat with McCown now. But they get him apart. Score tied 3-3 on the power play goal at the one minute mark of the second period by Miranov from Gartner and Ellen. From the faceoff, Dave Ellett goes behind his own net. Had to move it in a hurry to get it by Smith down inside the Chicago line. Blackhawks come back. Ronick ahead for Murphy. Couldn't pick it up. And the Leafs slam it back in. Ronick miscued. Went off his stick. Then his skate right to the netminder. Belfort gave it back to him. There's Murphy taking the pass and skating up over the Leaf line. Amonti is coming up with him. And in front of Smith and off his stick. He was all alone coming in on the net. He couldn't handle the pass. Wilkinson up to the Toronto line. Here's Romick again. His shot is deflected high over the net. The Blackhawks make changes and the Leafs get it up to center. Kocheleski is getting chase. Brent Sutter got him. But well, here's the shot by Vanderville as he was belted by Amonti. That whistled high. Brent Sutter starting back out. Coming across center at the leaf line and dropping at the shot by Chelios. That comes back in front to him and bounced over his stick. Cunningworth went in there with Chelios. And the Leafs hanging on here. Chelios again. That shot stopped by McCown. McCown and Brent Sutter in the corner. They hold it with their skates and no further play. We played 404 of the second period. Three, three time. Shots are 14 apiece so far in the hockey game. Each team has had just the one shot here in the second period. Three, three time. Face off deep in the Toronto zone. It gets out over the line. Harney coming back. He's with Weinrich. Ducked in over the leaf line again. Isabard is chasing the count. 
Route 2 is also in on the play, and the Leafs shoot it down the ice, but icing will be waved off and hit somebody coming out. Weinrich behind the net. Here he comes. Three Hawks with him. And it's played off the boards, intended for Eisenbart too far, and that's an icing call. It's against Chicago. Well, on behalf of uh, Hockey Night in Canada, I want to wish Father Les Costello, who's now in the hospital in Timmins, a speedy recovery. Father Costello played for the Leafs in the 48-49 season. Of course, we know him as the founder of the Flying Fathers, a hockey team that's entertained Canadians from coast to coast. So, Father, we know you're watching. We hope you're back in action before long. All of us, Hockey Night in Canada, send our best to you. The face-off coming up to the left of Ed Belfour in the Chicago net. Chicago jumping out to a 3-0 lead. The Leafs have come back to tie here in the second period. On a power play goal by Marinov. Dirk Green coming down for Chicago. Honeyworth with him. He took off for the net, but the pass never did come. Clark kicked it ahead. Moved up. He's with Gilmore coming up over the line. The pass goes in front. Gilmore. Trying to take it away from Cunningworth, who just missed Green with a lead pass. Leafs are offside. Gartner crossed the line. He was not yet out when he took that pass. Well, in a game that uh, neither team has excelled defensively, unlike game number two, Todd Gill and Dave Ellett played a two-on-two -two rush perfectly here. Dirk Graham and Randy Cunningworth both taken nicely. And Gilmore back checking. And when you're back checking and you have nobody to take, get to the middle of the rink. Don't stay on one side. Gilmore did that. And the puck was right there for him. A good three way defensive play to two defensemen and the back checking center. Jeremy Roenick trying to move it up, but Gill stopped him near center. Ian Clark got as far as the Chicago line. Clark is turning it back. Coming in. Wendell Clark turning back again. Now it is. And he can't get it by Belfour. Gartner on the short side, set up, but couldn't score. And Ronick is in for Chicago. Ronick shot. And a go into the crowd off the stick of the defenseman, Ellen. And the play stopped again. Well, the Leafs had a great chance to go ahead in this game for the first time. Mike Gartner got in alone. Tony Amani running a little interference for his line mate Roenick. Dex, Doug Gilmore, off comes the helmet. Amani's shot goes up. Here's Wendell Clark on a stop and turn play where again Jeremy Roenick got mesmerized with the puck and let Gartner go to the net. Gartner could not get it up over a sprawling hit Belfort. Belfort with a stick down and covering on that short side. Making the save for Chicago and keeping the score tied at three. We are coming up to the six minute mark of the second period. Face off to the right of Potvin. Champs for Chicago, Zenzel for Toronto. Goche didn't drop the puck. And I believe Champs has been waved out. Reluctantly, he leaves. Zenzel will stay in against Dubinsky. Has a won it. But it's Rick Sutter picking it up and going around the net. Rick Sutter lost it there. Back out front with the pass. Doesn't work. And the Leafs send three away. Rouse tried the shot as he crossed the line. Chelios blocked that easily. Rick Sutter given a bump by Zezel. Now Zezel gave it away to Sutter. He is moving back up for Chicago. Is hauled down. The crowd wanted a penalty. Zessel slamming it on the boards and hit Rich Sutter. And it's Berg for Toronto getting it out of the zone. Again, Rich Sutter shoots it ahead. That line for Chicago is going off. Berg coming out. On center ice, he fired it in. Osborne went after it. He was checked in time, though, and Poulin shot it to center. 3-3 three, three tie. Six and a half minutes into the second period. Chicago around the net, Kearney. Up on the wing, Eisenberg. 
Lips one in wide of the net for Poulin. Root two going over, but the Leafs break it up. Clark missed the pass. It'll be taken by Cullen, though, and he backhands it in. Pearson, Clark, and Cullen now for Toronto. It is Clark from the corner, trying to work it away from Reinrich. He does, and then he got caught by the Chicago defenseman. Clark again in the corner. Gave it to Cullen. Can't move to the net. Weinrich stopped him. Eisenbar at the center ice for Chicago. Pulling on the play. Try to replay it back to Eisenbar. He had to turn to the boards with it. Giving the fade lots of time. Brent Sutter moving up and shot it back to the net. Here's Gilmore. Out in front of his own goal. He had to move it quickly. Two players were in checking him. Pape giving up the big rebound, but the Leafs were there. They don't clear it. Brent Sutter got it back. Dirk Ream is knocked down, and again the crowd wanted a penalty. 3-3 is the score. We are coming up to the eight-minute mark of the second period. Wendell Clark couldn't get by Chelios. He shot it inside the leaf line. Now Gilmore. Clark is on the move. Gilmore couldn't move the puck. Honeyworth is turning at the Chicago line. Here's Chelios. He'll just shoot it in. Gilmore got back around the net and is looking to come out with it. Lead pass to Gartner, coming in on goal, and Belfort made a great save. Came sliding out to stop Gartner, and then smothered it before any lead could get a chance on the rebound. 13th save of the game for Ed Belfort, and that was a biggie. A lovely pass from Gilmore, and a great pass reception to stay on side. Now Gartner puts that right leg out, takes a stick off the puck, but can't get it past Belt. Puck is into the crowd again as they get the face off inside the Chicago line, and the shot was deflected high over at Belfort and into the big crowd here at the Chicago Stadium. Former Leaf Bob Pulford. In the background there, Dwayne Sutter to his left, and Phil Meir to his right. Dwayne Sutter coached the Indianapolis farm team for the Hawks, and Phil Mir is the goaltending consultant for the Chicago Blackhawks. Toronto's Dave Ella takes a hit from Green, but it shot the puck in. The Blackhawks move it out. They want to get Chelios going, and he shoots one from center ice. Graham hustling in the puck again over the glass into the crowd. 11-27 left in the second period. Well, Doug Gilmore really uh, uh, far more effective this period. Well, he's got a tough assignment here. Sutter gets the matchup he wants against Gilmore. Most of the time, I think Daryl Sutter wants to see Chelios and Suter against him. I think he's far more interested in getting that matchup than any forward matchup against him. But he does like to play Roenick against him. And that's who's out there now, so Gilmore getting attention from every hawk. Leafs win the draw, but cannot move it by Chelios. Chelios worked it to the corner. Now back of the net, trying to poke it loose for Ronick. Gilmore was watching him, and he fell on the puck. So another face-off in the Leafs zone. 3-3 here in Chicago. The Leafs coming from behind as Chicago had a 3-0 lead. They got the tying goal on a power play here in the second at the one minute mark from Dmitry Marinov. 3 3. Well, Tony Amante is one of the many new players for the Hawks. There are only five Chicago Blackhawks in the lineup tonight, remaining from the 1992 Cup Finals. Ronick Graham, Belfort Chelios, and Brent Sutter. So they have undergone in a fairly short period of time. A com almost a complete change. Face off to the right of Putman again. Jerry Gauthier, the linesman, ready to drop it in. Ronick ripping it back to the line. Chicago trying to get a shot on goal. It's a long one and doesn't get through. Osborne dumped it down the ice. Icing waved off. Down four. Knew that. He was out to play it. Here's Ronick. Up over the lane line and dropping it back to Murphy and to Ronick. That did not work. A good play by Lafave. To intercept the pass. Cecil moving up on it. Kearney back with Weinrich. The two defensemen lay it back in the net. 
Ernie's long pass hitting Murphy near center. Berg fell trying to check him. And it's slammed in by McCown. During the halfway mark of the second period. Here's Murphy with Ronick. Good move away from Clark, who got a piece of him, slowed him up and up, allowing the Leafs to pick it up and Clark trying to get in. He might get a shot. There it is. And he whistled it by Belfort, but missed the net. Pearson checked by Murphy. Chicago get it up, and Chance is moving over center. Chance up over the line, trying to go for the net, and Cullen got back. Again, Pearson just missing the loose puck at center ice. Clark once more with Pearson. The pass behind Pearson. He was going in. Chance and Rich Sutter come in. Rich Sutter faked the shot, carried in back of the net, tried to one-hand it out front. That was blocked by Puck Fan, and a goalie will hold it there. And there's the Leaf Brass in the press box here in Chicago. Murphy, Fletcher, Waters, and Sittler. And there is the press box, the only one in the National League that's located on the end of the ring. And a face-off to the right of Puck Fan, deep in the lead zone, going to Toronto. Manderville from Ellen up to center ice, and he's going in with a long shot. Missed the net. Pushoniski tucked it in front, but the Leafs can't keep it in. Ellen waits, shoots it back in. Pushoniski stopped it with a skate, flipped it ahead. Manderville in the corner takes a bump, and Eastwood comes in to dig it out. Eastwood around the net, tried to slide it out front. Jenny will stop him. It's out there again, and Belfour jumps down on it. You heard Paul Stewart say, don't tempt me, meaning break it up or I'm going to give you a penalty. Manderville. Here is a good example of defensive zone coverage. You see each hawk has chosen a leaf. Chelios lays off to make sure he's got his man. A nice job by Suter in front and look at Rutu chasing the leaf third leaf forward all over the place. And finally, Belfour. Freezes the puck. Excellent defensive zone coverage. The Leafs were in control of the puck, but they never got it into a scoring position without a hawk on them. Brent Sutter coming on, his brother getting the last change. He sends five new ones on. Cunningworth to his right as Weinrich, the defenseman, going around the net. Trip Graham is the other forward, and Carney, the other defenseman. Graham shoots it in. Todd Gill over there for the Maple Leafs, trying to poke it away, and it's Eastwood coming out. Up to Andrichuk, going over the line. The Leafs were changing, and the Blackhawks get it back out into the center ice area. Ellett now has to come all the way back. Around the net, high on the glass, it goes down the ice. Gartner trying to catch up. The goalie out again, Belfour, pushed it away from him. 3-3 three, three tie. With Gardner coming in, Gardner and Anderchuk get crossed up, and the Chicago Blackhawks clear it down the ice. 8.15 remaining, second period. Chicago jumping out front, 3 nothing. Really took off from the starting game. The Leafs got two to get close and tied it here in the second. Here and all the one minute mark. Chicago's Chelio is forced to go back. Gartner is in there, hounding him. Andrew Chuck coming in, and here's McCown stopping it just inside the line. Digging it out. A pass by Zezel. Missed Gartner. He was decked. And the Leafs shoot it in. Suter had nailed Zezel. He's back in there for checking for the Leafs. Berg knocked one down at center and shot it in. 7.30 left in the period. It is Chicago. Having a tough time with the Leafs forechecking guy. Roenick takes the pass and Amandi takes the shot. What a glove save by Papa. Did he ever make that look easy? It wasn't. It was a bullet shot and a fine glove save by Papa of Toronto. Potfa sharp again here for the Maple Leafs, snaring that one. Well, this has been a real easy period with reference to the number of shots. 3-3 three, three after a 13-shot apiece first period. But that was a fine stop, and Amate, I'm sure, was ready to throw his hands up in the air. 
But Ben threw his hand up and prevented the goal. Avanti already has two goals in a game. Scored in the first period for Chicago. He's had several good chances since scoring those two goals. That one snuffed up by Potvin. Rick Sutter, he's very active in the second period for Chicago. In back from the net. Finally losing it, and Clark gets rid of it, but not out. Weinrich finally lost it to Marinov, and out it goes. Clark will stop this one. Poke it ahead, takes a hit as he does. Weinrich fading back. Here's Pearson. Played it in for Clark. Clark against Rich. Weinrich took Clark in on the boards in the corner. Puck comes loose. Clark after it. But he's caught from behind, and the Blackhawks bring it out. The pass intercepted by Miranov. He's moving up there. Takes a shot and hit the leg of Weinrich. Clark turning around inside the line. Put it in wide of the net, and Belfour will stop the play with the Leafs skating around inside that blue line pretty well. Six minutes and 23 seconds remaining in the second period at the Chicago Stadium in game three. The Leafs up in the series, two games to nothing. Winning 5-1 and 1-0 in overtime on Wednesday on the goal by Todd Gill. 3-3 now. Chicago thinking blowout early in the game when they scored quickly. Three goals before the eight minute mark of the first period. He's got two back and then tied it here in the third. Now Cullen, he's not in control of the puck as he crossed the line ahead of it. And that, of course, is offside. 6.06 to go in the second period. And here come the Chicago Blackhawks. Murphy down the right side with the shooter right behind him. Amante moving up. It gets in front of the net, and Anderchuk was there to pick it up and get it ahead to Gartner. He's speeding in with a shot. Nice save by Belfour, and Ed Belfour continues to slow the play every chance he gets by diving on the rebound as it came off the boards behind him. Mike Gartner probably has had the most excellent chances of any Leaf. He's on the wing tonight and looks a lot more comfortable. Let's a 42-footer go right here that Belfour gets a piece of. And Suter takes Mr. Gartner out of the play. What a great skater he is, though, breaking away. Hard to catch him. Turned on the Jets that time and got in for a shot. Three, three tie, 545 remaining in the third period, second period rather. Carney turning back, coming out. Pass through center, Brent Sutter backhands it in for Graham. But the town got back there quickly and Gartner slapped at it, doesn't get out. Graham again, centered it. Brent Sutter had to go off his stick. And Gilmore finally shoots it out and hit the linesman over there. Might have been an icing call. Hit the official and allowed the Blackhawks to get it back inside the leap line. The fave and Cunningworth put together. And here now is Andrew Chuck coming out, getting set, shoots. Deflected and just missed the far corner. Gardner hopping on it quickly to keep it in. Gilmore behind the net. Andrew Chuck was out front, but Carney had him covered. Now Andrew Chuck in the corner against Weinrich. Gardner and Sutter. And no further play with 4.51 left in the period. Period number two, Andrew Chuck and Weinrich having a few words. We are tied at three. One thing Paul Stewart does well is blow whistles quick when it's in the feet of the players on the board. Some referees let it go and let it go. Then you have the frustration level start and penalties often occur. Stewart sees it. When he thinks it's frozen, he gives it a quicker whistle than most. I think the players appreciate that. Big hit right here, Randy Cunningworth. Whoa, from Sylvain Lefebvre. You don't have to go down to feel a good body check, and I guarantee you, as tough as he is, Cunningworth felt that from his ankles to his ears. Shots remain fairly even. 17 by Toronto, 16 by Chicago. So four to three in this period for the Leafs. 
They have the only goal so far. The one minute mark. Marinov tied the game. Pearson turning inside the blue line was bumped. Sooner hit him. Murphy brings it up to the Toronto line with Amante and Roney. The pass right under the step of Clark. He dumped it back. And Ella Rouse rather played it up the center. And there again is Ronick the Belfour win. Ronick now coming in. He played it up to Ronick quickly. Ronick turned, but the Leafs got back. Toronto picking it up and coming out. Hill gets to center ice. Gets it over the line with Clark. Hill couldn't set him up. Ronick kept at it. Ronick put it ahead. Amante scores! Hot night tonight for Amante. And the Hats will come on the ice here at the Chicago Stadium. That's three for him. And it gives Chicago a 4-3 lead. It will be a while. Todd Gill does not get the puck deep. And then he can't get back. He's trying hard to get back here. Amante gets it to the top of the circle and wires it for the hat trick to put the Hawks up four to three. You have to get the puck deep when you're a defenseman and you're stopped on the rush. Todd Gill didn't. Felix Potvin pays the price. The hockey crowd here at the Chicago Stadium have been and still are one of the best crowds in the National Hockey League for this great game of ours. And you think they're not into this thing? The hats and the caps and the posters and whatever are coming out onto the ice now here in the Chicago Stadium and they're still pouring them down from the upper levels. This noisy crowd at the whole Chicago Stadium are all standing now and cheering as Amante scores his first, second, and third goals of the playoffs. All here tonight. He got two in the first period and now explodes with one hard shot here in the second to give the Blackhawks a 4 3 lead. Tony Amante had scored but one goal in nine previous games since being acquired at the trading deadline from the New York Rangers. He gets three tonight and an eruption here at the Chicago Stadium of Hats and Posters has delayed this game. These hats will all be on sale in 15 minutes at the souvenir booths around the Chicago Stadium. And you can see this could be the last poster night here. I'm sure the Hawk players would tell you they'd rather not sit around and do nothing after they get the 4-3 goal. They'd like to get right back in the game and take advantage of the momentum that goal created. They're not going to be able to do that because they're picking up the posters and they're picking up the hats. And it's going to be a five minute delay. Ronick gets the assist and what a perfect setup it was. Ronick coming out of his own zone. He saw Monty taking off and put it right on the tape. And of course he cut in from the left and drilled the shot. Now Todd Gill leads a dangerous rush, but now he's lost. And instead of dumping it in the corner beyond Chelios and Ronick, he lobs it to the side of the rink. And then he's got too far to come back to get involved in stopping Amani from getting that hard shot away. And it was a doozer of a shot. Yes, it was. His third of the game. And the time of the goal, 15 58. With Toronto spotting Chicago a 3 0 lead early in the hockey game back in the first. They crept back and got with, within one and then tied the game at the one minute mark here in the second period as Miranov scored a bullet of his own on a leaf power play. But now Amante. It's 4 3 Chicago. Well, the Chicago Stadium has been a windy city thread that has touched generations of Chicago families. Grandparents came here to see Sonia Henny skate. Parents wandered into the Chicago Stadium to hear Elvis. And last week, Bob, the teenagers flocked to the Chicago Stadium to hear Pearl Jam. And would, wouldn't you love to have been here to see Joel Lewis defend a few title fights right here in the Chicago Stadium? Four 
three, Chicago with 3.54 remaining in the second period. The Chicago Blackhawks alive now on that Amante goal, his third of the game. Sutter is in there digging it out for Chalios to drive. That's off and Rachuk and it went wide of the net. Gilmore shot it off the boards behind the goal. Gloved out over the line to center ice. 3.30 left in the period. Chicago in front again. Puck shot from center. Green coming back. Hit the side of the net. But that one is loose. And then Rachuk picked it up in front of the goal. And again the Leafs just dump it away. Kellyos back. Honeyworth played it out as far as the line. Ronick through the middle. Suter nearly got in. Stopped at the nick of time by Lafave. Split the defense and nearly walked in on Putfan. 2.50 left. Gilmore played it to center ice. Suter pick it up again. Here's Murphy centering it. Amonti was in again. And but for the great save by well, Amadi is really flying tonight, and that time he burst out of nowhere and made the deflection in front of the net. Popman played it well. Oh, it was a big stop, but Amadi showed a great burst of speed as he roars past. Very coming up the middle here. Goes by Anderchuk, goes by Gardner, goes right past Gilmore, and gets a chance to make it 5 3. Popman with a big stop. Chicago four, Toronto three. The Blackhawks going ahead again here in the second period. Amonti scoring at 15.58. Now what a big night for Tony Amonti as he's really fine. Here they got another one right there. Rick Sutter tried a quick shot after the faceoff. Toronto back on its heels now. Dangerous looking pass skipped by Schantz. Got to Osborne at center and he moved up over the line and had to back off again. Leafs on side for Bergshaw. Easy save for Belfour. Weinrich, the defenseman stepping up to the line. Pass ahead to Schantz. It got by him for Dubinsky. Who ran into McCown. Rich Sutter can't play it. That's offside at the Toronto Blue Line with two minutes and one second left in the second period. Well, one of the more industrious Chicago Blackhawks, Richie Sutter. You wonder if he's ever going to score, but he's a tough customer along the boards and has done some very aggressive, effective forechecking tonight for the Hawks. They forecheck so much better in this rink. You wonder whether it's the the fact it's not as long as most of the rinks in the National League or whether it's just that home cooking that Chicago seems to enjoy. They saw will come outside the line on the Chicago offside play. Weinrich will have to hurry. Eastwood was grabbed by Murphy. Couldn't get on the puck. Vanderville now has to skate back on side and the four leaves turn to come in for checking Chicago. But the Blackhawks get it out. Dave Ellip. Murphy after him. And again, Ella. He'll bring it out over the line and by Ronick across center and backhands the puck in. Belfort to play it. Put it high on the glass again. Leafs knock it down this time. Manderville took a swing at it. Popped over his stick. And Amonti scooped it away. Down to center. Played in by Murphy. And Bob Rouse will come back with the Blackhawks changing. And as Rouse behind his own net. To Ellett, up to Manderville, he couldn't knock it down, and it goes all the way down the ice. They're going to call that ice in and bring it back inside the leaf line with a minute and three seconds left in the period. Well, we talked about the rink often. We always do when we come here. It is a unique building, the organ that we love so much. The player's entrance gate is three and a half. I don't know why it isn't four or five. The dressing rooms are in the basement of this rink. 19 stairs to come up from the visitors room 22 from the home room the rink must have settled and of course no private boxes Bob and there's the stairs we're talking about heading down 
And more than one player has has stumbled at the top of those stairs and rolled to the bottom. One minute to play in the period. Four three Chicago. Toronto moving up on the rush. That was Cullen going in, trying to hit his man. He missed him. Marinov moving the puck up to center, and he got a bump there from Graham. Graham coming in, hits his shot. Pop back juggler, got loose again. And the play has been called. The referee feeling that Papa still had it, but he did not. He had sounded the whistle with 35 seconds left. And Felix Potvin kept the Leafs alive when it was 3 0 for seven or eight minutes till they got going. And his job again is don't give Chicago that fifth goal. Chelios takes a stick. From John Cullen right here. Accidental. Chelios obviously felt it. No penalty on at all. Face off to the left of Felix Putvan. Chicago four, Toronto three. Second period winding down. The Leafs win the draw. That was Gilmore taking it away from Ronick. And the fame skated out as far as his own line and just poked it ahead. Gilmore steals it. The Leafs were offside. Clark had gone inside the line and couldn't get out in time. 23 seconds remaining. One thing the short ice here does, all the ice is taken out of the neutral zone. You see more offsides in this building than you do in the regulation size rinks. And you often see more icings as the missed pass heads the length of the rink. It's a it's a two stride trip for good skaters from the blue line to the red line instead of a three strider. Ronick trying to get away for Chicago Murphy there with him. Aronoff was knocked down by Ronick. Ten seconds left in the period. Chenio steals it. He's coming in. Sharp angle. Now the shot deflected in front. Puck fan down. Amadi trying to jab it in. And the siren ends this melee in front of the Toronto goal as the Blackhawks come close to getting a two goal lead. Well, the Leafs have their work cut out for them. They looked in deep trouble halfway through the first period, and they're down by one heading to the third. Anybody's hockey game. Bob Cole and Harry Neal in the booth at the Chicago Stadium. And the third period about to start with the Blackhawks leading four to three. Sylvain Lefebvre comes up with a first shot and a big rebound. But no backhander on the net by Wendell Tire. Here's a shot. Another shot by McCall. Bell four goes down, scrambling, and he makes a sensational save. Well, there are a few goalies in him any more acrobatic than Belfour, and he shows us some real gymnastics to keep the score at 4-3 Chicago on that stop. What a great piece of work by Ed Belfour, and the crowd applauds the work of Belfour to start this third period. Face off to the right of the Chicago net now. We welcome you people who have watched the Canadians win their game at the Forum. I'm Bob Cole with Harry Neal, Ron McLean, and Don Cherry at the Chicago Stadium. It is 4-3 Chicago. The team's now at full strength here to start the third period. We are 30 seconds in. And it's center centering one through the crease. Clark coming back for Toronto. Leaving it for Gardner and a long shot ripped right on and Belfour is hot to start this third period. The shots at this point in the hockey game. 21 by Toronto and 19 by Chicago. The Blackhawks jumped out to a 3-0 lead early in the hockey game. Amadi had two and Murphy won. And then Ellenberg got it close. Miranov in a power play early in the second at the one minute mark and Amadi his third of the game at 15.58. Here's the stop Belfour makes early the first shift. 
and it was a great one. You gotta remember this on long shots. Belfort plays about 10 feet, eight to 10 feet outside the top of the crease. So a shot from the blue line is not a 50 foot shot, it's about a 40 foot shot. Roenick for Chicago. Zezel for Toronto. Zezel is taking his time, lining up to the right of Ed Belfort. 4-3, Blackhawks. Leafs leading the series two games to nothing, and here's a chance for Rouse. Shot right on. Big rebound, though, and the Blackhawks were on it. Murphy gets it up to center ice, and turning it back is Zezel. Another long shot, and Belfort picked up the right pad. And he's out to jump on it with Bill Bird coming in along with Osborne. And he stops the play again. Well, one of the scouting reports on Belfer is take all kinds of shots from everywhere, but keep them low because he does give some fat rebounds. But the player that is on the rush but doesn't shoot has to make his mind up to go to the net in a hurry to anticipate the rebound. If he waits too long, he can't get there in time. Chicago trying to get back into the series before it's too late. Game four is here at the Chicago Stadium. Come on, night. Four, three Blackhawks right now. Rouse misses one at the blue line. Ruta went up there. Berg went flying, tripped over his own man. Rouse dumped one to center ice. Weinrich fed it ahead. Down comes Amati, scores! That's number four for Tony Amati. And the Blackhawks take the two-goal lead here in the third period. What a night for Amati of Chicago. Well, it was a two-on-one. Tony Amati, who's got the hot stick tonight, elects to shoot it, not pass it. As you can see, Dave Ellett steps up to hit Rona. The puck goes right through and through the legs of puck fan as Bob Rouse was playing to intercept the pass. There was no pass. And Amani gets his fourth of the night. And the Chicago Blackhawks fans have thrown most of their hats on the ice. They're back to the posters. Amanti's fourth of the hockey game giving Chicago a 5-3 lead. Ronick and Weibrich getting the assists at 131. The crowd standing and applauding the effort of Tony Amati. Boy, he's got hot fans number tonight. A puck fan got a bit of that shot, but he couldn't handle the whole thing. You have to remember now on a on a two-on-one break, the goalie has to be thinking about the pass. I know he has to play the shot, but he has to be thinking about the pass. I don't know whether Pot Van was thinking about it, but the shot was hard enough to go through him. Pat Burns team had two wonderful chances to tie it up here in the first minute of the third period. And on Chicago's only shot of the period, they put it in, and this building again is in a bit of an uproar. Well, they're in a great mood. They come out here tonight in full numbers at this old Chicago stadium. And Mr. Sutter had his hands full, getting his team up for the game. Let's face it, they gave it a great effort in game two after being blown out five to one by Toronto in the opener of this quarterfinal of the Western Conference. And then that great game in Chicago on Wednesday. Scoreless through 60 minutes and the top Gill overtime goal early in overtime. And now tonight, can the Hawks come out and do something with these Maple Leafs? They did that in spades by getting three goals before the eight minute mark of the period. And the crowd was happy then, and you can see they are happy now, leading five to three. Jimmy Durrani? <laughs> He played here at the Chicago Stadium too. Everybody played Everybody, here entertainers, at the athletes, Stadium. NFL football games, political conventions. It's going to be a sad day when they close the gates for the last time. Tony Amonte played high school hockey with Jeremy Roenick. Eight bucks. Twenty. You got a bargain. Twenty-five bucks. 
There's the Chief Hawk right there. Well, the goal coming at 131 of the third period gives Chicago some breathing room. The Leafs down 3 0, came back, got within two before the first period was out, and then tied it on a power play goal by Miranov at the one minute mark of the second. Two more by Amanti. 15.58 of the second, and Tony was back again here at 131 of the third period. Tony Amanti gets four goals in a playoff game. Denny Savard did that April the 10th, 86 against Toronto, and Toronto beat him 6 4. Score 5 3. Four goals by Amante. And this place is rocking, and the Leafs, who were down 3 0 and made a gallant comeback to tie it up, are in a hole again. And now, finally, we're ready for the faceoff at center on that goal by Amati. Column against Chance. Column won it. Miradov moved through center. Stopped by Rick Sutter, who shot it in. Wide of the net. Chance is getting chased on Miradov. And he lifted one a bit too high, trying to get it out. It went into the crowd. Chance ran into Miranov, and he fell to the ice, drawing the crowd. Maybe a penalty. Miranov is saying, what for? And Paul Stewart is saying, elbowing. Well, it was after the whistle bomb. The Chicago player got knocked down after the whistle. Jeff Shantz, the Regina Pat graduate, been a feisty guy tonight. So the whistle's gone because the puck's out of the rink now. And there is the elbow by Miranoff, and he'll take two minutes at a time when the Leafs have uh, don't need one. Well, if you've watched all the games in this series, you'll surely remember this stop. Game two. Maple Leaf Gardens, Pot Fan looks like he's out of position and dives across to make a catch on a Paul Isabart shot. And here in game three, Eddie Belfer is going to dive to his right to make a save to keep it at 3 3, and now it's 5. Suter gets set from the blue line, a shot and a big rebound again, but grabbed by Zezel. Zezel fires it down the ice, right on the net. Belfour played it out for Chelios. Down to center and Ronick coming in. Ronick stops. He was hit. And Berg got a chance to move it out but couldn't beat Suter. Chelios getting set. Ronick! That's off the crossbar. As Ronick comes close, taking a one-timer to the right of Potvin. Minute 24 left in the penalty. Marinov of the Leafs is off. Well, that's one of Chicago's favorite power play plays. The cross ice pass from Chelios to Ronick, who's playing on his wrong wing, and he one times it, and it goes off the crossbar and out of the ring. Pot fan comes across. Jeremy Ronick's line, Murphy Ronick Amante have been in charge tonight offensively. They were very silent in games one and two in Toronto. Two minutes and 21 seconds into the third period. The Chicago Blackhawks have taken a two goal lead again. They have enjoyed a three goal lead early in the hockey game. The Leafs were back to tie it. We're never ahead in the game. Five three now. Chicago. Try to scramble back into the series. Down two games to nothing. Oh, Popman had to be careful with that one. It was deflected. Going to his right, and he was moving the other way. Puck back to center ice. Telio stopping. Lutu tries to bring it in. He fell down, grabbed the puck. The Leafs get on it. Gilmore backs it up around his own net. 50 seconds left in the penalty. 
Balfour is turning the Blackhawks back. Eisenbart poked it up for Ronick. He made a good move on Lefebvre. Lefebvre caught him and hit it back there. Eisenbart went in to help. Left it for Poulin, and it's the Leafs getting it out into center ice. 30 seconds left in the penalty to Marinov. There's Amanti, and the crowd are on him again. He's got four goals in this Stanley Cup playoff game. Up goes Suter. Pass down the right boards, Murphy. And Fave takes the puck and ripped it through the opening down the ice. Vanderbilt is for checking now. So Belfour had to be careful. Here comes Amadi. The crowd roars. He's in back of the net trying to slip it out front. But Ellis stopped him this time. And now the penalty has been served. The Leafs back at full strength at the four minute mark of the third period. 5 3 Chicago. And they go in offside at the Chicago Blue Line. And the faceoff comes at center ice. Brent Sutter shot the puck ahead as he won the draw. Suter backed that up to Jellios to Suter. Blackhawks in charge now, leading by two. Long shot for Putfan. That away easily, but the Blackhawks are in there quickly. Here's Chelios. That's knocked down. A big rebound right back to Chelios. Another shot. Puff out the save. Loose puck. Sutter can't find it. It hit Puff and went back of the net. The whistle had gone. <laughs> big crowd gathering. As Potva had made a couple of saves, Chelios had a couple chances. Pretty good ones, too. Well, there's lots of setters around. There's Daryl, the coach. We know. And there's Ron Sutter of the Quebec Nordique, formerly St. Louis, in to watch the game. There's Dwayne Sutter in the white shirt up there with Mr. Pulford. He coached Indianapolis. Brent Sutter, of course, has been a dominant force. And Rich Sutter has had one of his better games. Brian couldn't make it. He was busy at the forum tonight in Montreal. Todd Gill trying to clear his own zone. He got it up to center. The Leafs get in there, but Gilmore lost his stick and he'll draw a penalty. Gilmore was almost in there on a 2 on one Toronto break. But the stick was grabbed out of his hands and Chelios was the man who did it. And he'll go off. Chelios is pleading that it was accidental, but it did. He did get caught standing still, and he really did get the stick hooked under his arm. And Gilmar, who probably would have got the puck of somebody in a dangerous position, had to travel over the blue line without the stick. So the Leafs get a power play here. They're down 5-3. Four minutes and 43 seconds into the third period. And the faceoff will be inside the Chicago line. Chelio still boiling in the bench. Pat Burns knows now that Toronto must grab one on this power play. As they near the five minute mark of the third and Chicago in control, leading by two. Well, here's the faceoff and it's going to be Suter who fails to clear it. Sutter got there and couldn't beat Alec. Finally, they get it out to center ice. Gilmore trying to find room along the board. Squeezed out of that play. Belfort stopped it. So did Andrichuk. The shooter failed to clear it. Andrichuk shot. And Belfort has it. Gilmore was open behind him. Belfort was out a foot or two and stopped that and held it. Well, Gartner's got great speed, as we mentioned, and he gets in there in a hurry to force Suter to shoot it around the boards. Anderchuk keeps it alive. Gartner tips it to him, and Anderchuk takes a bad angle shot that's quickly smothered. You're going to see Doug Gilmore to the right of Balfour just waiting to pounce on that loose puck. There's the stick. Balfour grabs it. Now Gilmore on the face off with Arutu, and Arutu wins it from him. Suter takes it behind the net and lost it out front. They jam away at it there. Here's Gilmore. Gets set. 
gets the shot, but everybody got in front of him as he had to wait. And now Ellett drives one. That's grabbed, but a big rebound again. And Rutu lifted the puck too high. And it gets into the crowd as the Toronto Maple Leafs are pressing the Chicago Blackhawks now. A minute 21 left in the Chelios penalty. The Leafs have scored two on the power play tonight. Dave Ellett gets a good point shot. A little high perhaps and you can see Suter throwing Gartner out of the way and Weinrich not allowing Anderchuk to get in the line of the shot. Two good plays by the Chicago defenseman. We all know what Anderchuk can do if he can get himself in front of the net. The Blackhawks their best defenseman in the penalty box Chris Chelios 1438 remaining in the third period. A 5-3 hockey game as the Blackhawks try to get back in the series. The Leafs winning the first two at Maple Leaf Gardens. Here game three tomorrow game four at the Chicago Stadium. Back of the net Weinrich couldn't get it by Ella. He's been blocking a lot. Kept the puck in. Andrew Chuck going after it at the far side and there's Andrew Chuck again with Gilmore to the line. Coming up, Gilmore takes the pass, goes back to the net, trying to center it. Gilmore and Anderchuk. Anderchuk didn't see it, so Ellett decides to pinch in. Back of the net, Gilmore again. Oh, Ellett takes a shot. That's blocked. Blackhawks hanging on, and they shoot it down the ice. 40 seconds left in the penalty to Chalios. Blackhawks five, Maple Leafs three. Once again, Andrew Chuck brings it up himself this time, gets over the line, lost it, kept in there, Carney couldn't clear it out. Gilmore slapped it in front of the net. Here's a chance. Andrew Chuck can't get it. He was all around himself and couldn't find it. Andrew Chuck again, trying to jab it in and failed. Now Ellis drives one, scores! Dave Allen, terrific pressure by the Maple Leafs on this power play. And Ellis shot somehow found its way through. And the Leafs are back in this one, five to four. Well, some tremendous opportunities here. One by Anderchuk. And Chicago's in a state of panic. The puck goes to Ellis, he shoots it. It deflected off somebody. It may have hit Wendell Clark. They had three great chances before the puck went all out to the point. And here comes Clark. He's in front of the net in the point shot. Nice play by Anderchuk there. He knew all the Hawks were in. I don't know whether it hit Clark or not, but they gave it to Ellett initially. 13.25 to go in the third period. Chicago 5, Toronto 4. Big goal by the Maple Leafs on that power play. And they go on the attack again. Out front was Osborne. A pass doesn't get out to him and hit the back of the net. Zezel trying to poke it loose. Two Blackhawks are there trying to hang on. Belfour holds the post. And the play is whistled in. Berg and Zezel fighting to get the puck out. And the two Blackhawk defenders made sure it stayed on the net with the help of Ed Belfour. He was just hugging the post and made sure it didn't squeeze in somehow on the short side. 5-4, your score here in the third period at the seven-minute mark. Chicago leads. And the Blackhawks move up. Dirk Green from center ice fell, but shot it in there. There's Suter getting set. Doesn't shoot it. Chelios takes it and drives one. That's blocked. Chelios again. I defeated over for Green, but went by him. Chelios left the spot open, so the puck came out. Now the Blackhawks have to get back on side, allowing the Leafs some time to form. And they do that from back of the net. Pass hitting Cullen, but he couldn't hold it long enough to move it in. And the Blackhawks want to make changes. Coming up to the eight minute mark of the third. One goal game again now as Ellen has scored for the Maple Leafs from Andrew Chuck and Gilmore at 635. Here's Clark stealing one, centering it. And the Blackhawks intercept, and the man of the hour is Amante. Got to center and was upended by Miranov. 
as he tried to fool the Leaf defenseman. Toronto dumping it down the ice back is Carney. The Leafs take it away from him. In the corner and fighting to get it out is Pearson. Got along the boards. Deep for Clark again. Getting away from Weinrich, but now Weinrich caught him and held him. And Ronick fired one, but Ellis stopped it again. Gilmore with Clark. Gilmore coming out front. It was centered. Pearson was covered in the goal crease area. Long shot that popped and blocked. Murphy driving it before he hit the blue line. 11.20 remaining in the third period. Chicago looked to be in control, but it's scary again for the Blackhawks as Toronto has come back. Chalios low shot, tip wide at the Toronto net. Route two back in the goal, trying to come out. There's going to be a Toronto penalty to Andrichuk, I believe. Out at center ice. The Chicago player dumped, and Andrichuk was the only leaf there. And Belfour had left the net. Another penalty for holding the stick. Detected by referee Stewart. Andrichuk of the Maple Leafs. Well, he goes out to take Chelios. Chelios shoots the puck. Anderchuk finishes off right into him. And the sticks were up. Anderchuk grabbed Chelios' stick, but you can see he's got a little cut on his lower lip from the stick, Chris Chelios. Big power play now for Chicago. Chelios will start it off with a shot. It's knocked down by Lefebvre, and it dribbled in to puck and he stopped the play. Killed five seconds of the power play. Blackhawks lead five to four. We are nearing the halfway mark of the third period. The Hawks have also got power play success tonight. I mentioned earlier in the broadcast that they practiced it for 40 minutes yesterday. And it looks like it's paid off because it was not very productive in either game in Toronto, obviously. Nothing was there. Tony Amante, four goals. He, he Ronick and Murphy, the big line, had been held pointless and were a combined minus five in the first two games. Not tonight here in Chicago. 5-4, Chicago leads it. Game three. Here's Chelios. Pass to the right to Murphy, sliding it into the corner and back to Chelios at the blue line with Suter. Suter back to Chelios. The other side now, Murphy's drive and Puff a decent save on that screen shot. Picking it up and shooting it down the ice was Berg. 135 left in the penalty. Chicago looking to take a two goal lead again. They're up by one as Suter brings it in. For Murphy, coming in, shot point blank range. And Puff had made a big save on that. Here's Amandi, the four goal man in this hockey game. Leaving it on the boards, Berg fell, trying to pick it up and get it out. Ronick waits. Ronick back to Chelios. Take the shot. Chelios moving along the line and giving it to Murphy, and he'll come in. Went off balance, now he's ready. But Chelios will take the drive. Tip wide of the net by Amandi. Here's Chelios again in there. Right close as Amante and Potfa will make sure that he doesn't get his stick on this one. And he smothers it again with 50 seconds left in the penalty to Andrew Chuck of the Maple Leafs. Tony Amante's had nine shots on goal tonight with nine minutes, 49 seconds left in the third period. He had one excellent shot on that power play. He had a tip in on the power play, but he could not beat Felix Potvin, number 10 Amante, the hottest stick in the Midwest, and gets a rebound that he can't handle there. And he's had three or four chances to make it five tonight. He's off now. Eisenbart with Rutsu and Poulin on for Chicago. Chelios and Suter. A lot of ice time again tonight. Nice play by Chelios to keep it inside the line. Pass to the side of the net. Isabard left it back at the goal for Route 2. Ellen is after him. There goes Pullen from the far side, looking back to the line. Now he has to stop. Finally, he turns. 
Rolled into the side of the net. Isabart on the outside to Chalios. Chalios faked the shot. Gave it to Isabart. Isabart trying to roll it in for Poulin. It was deflected and Gilmore will shoot it away. And down the ice. 15 seconds left for the penalty to Toronto's Dave Andrachuk. Chicago 5, Toronto 4. The Blackhawks moving up again. Up to center. Brent Sugar got over the line and was stopped and back for Eastwood. He has Osborne with him. Eastwood made a good move. And he lifted one high with Osborne going to the net, but he was checked going in there. And he ran into the goal post, and there's going to be a Chicago penalty. Well, Osborne was fired into the net by the Chicago player, and he's going to take an interference call. Paul Eisenbart, number 14, you can see him back checking. And he takes Osborne right to the goal. And it's maybe Black a good Hawks thing he did. 14, Paul Eisenbart, two minutes for interference at 11 well, The Hawks now will Hawk have to kill a penalty off with 8.55 to go in the third period. They have a one goal lead. Well, the Blackhawks had a very important power play earlier in this period. When Andrew Chuck was off. Now, the Maple Leafs have a very important power play. As Eisenberg is off. 8.55 left. Blackhawks 5. Maple Leafs 4. Game 3 with the Leafs up 2-0 in the series. Now, Suter and Chelios have just played the whole power play. The whole power play for Chicago. And here they are out. They're probably going to kill the whole penalty. Two horses who play more than half the game every night. You wonder when they play two games in a row whether it might not show in the last half of the second game tomorrow. Which reminds us to remind you game four of the series goes tomorrow night here at the Chicago Stadium. 8.30 Eastern time. On there. But right now in game three. 5-4 Chicago leading. Toronto on a power play. It's left there for Chelios to shoot down the ice. Alec Marinov, Gartner, Andrew Chuck, and Gilmore. There's Gartner winding up. Has some pretty good speed going now to the Chicago line, and he shoots it in on the boards and hit the net. Comes loose for him, but he fell before he could center it. And the Blackhawks are going to get a chance to move it out. There it goes. Kirk Green hammered that one off the boards. Minute 18 left for the penalty. Up to center is Allen. He's had a strong game for the Maple Leafs. Taken away from him this time and shot down the ice. Allen has scored two goals for Toronto. Monty four for Chicago. Power play Leafs. Marinov shoots it from center. Belfour out of the net. Fired it high on the glass and won't get by Marinov. He can't get a shot. He was covered. Roenick had him. And the Blackhawks get it out. Now Andrew Chuck feeding it back with 45 seconds left in the power play. Andrew Chuck. He'll just shoot it in there to the corner to the right. Chalios had no problem picking that up. 35 seconds left in the Chicago penalty. Good work by Rick Sutter on Marinov. After him again. Marinov using McCown. Back to Marinov. Rick Sutter all over the place in there. There he is chasing McCown and he grilled him. Rick Sutter has come to play tonight for Chicago. Gill takes the shot away off the net, hoping for the deflection in front. Gill back for McCown. Three seconds left in the penalty. It's now over. The Blackhawks have killed it off. The Leafs keep the puck in. Shot back of the net and around the goal for Eisenberg. And he gets it ahead. Here comes Graham going in on goal. And Papa made a fine stop with the blocker. Closing off the short side of that bit. Clark is upended. Toronto back to regroup. 6.30 remaining in the third. 5-4 Chicago. Now McCown. Stop dead in his tracks as Green is in for checking with Brent Sutter. And Amandi centered it. Clark in front of his own net. Takes over. Back of the goal for McCown. He'll come from the corner. Roll it ahead. 
That is Zenzel trying to move up. Zenzel on Chelios. Hit Chelios. Chelios gets back up. He takes another hit. Osborne shot. Big rebound. And the Blackhawks clear it out in time. Boy, the Leafs are coming close. Scrambles in front of Belfour. And they poke it in over the line again with 5.40 remaining in the third. A one-goal game now. Toronto all afire trying to tie it. Chicago had a 3-0 lead in the first period. And the Leafs climb back to tie it. They went up 5-3. And now the Leafs are within one. And Chicago tries to get close in this series. Looking to win their two games on home ice to tie it. Down the right side and going in. Chicago played in front and covered on the play with Shantz. Zabinski had gone in with him. Now Gilmore giving a rough ride, trying to go in. Shakes it off and keeps going to the corner, trying to play it back. There's Andrew Chuck with Gardner. And the Blackhawks now up to Shantz. He's the center. And he shoots it from there, and they want to make changes. They're going to end to end now with 4.35 remaining in the third. And it's Chelios on there again. Takes a shot. A fast stop that, and Ellick played it away, and Andrew Chuck chopped it to center. 4.25 left in the third. 5-4 Chicago. Stopped by Clark. He's getting loose in there for the Leafs. Centered one through the crease, it comes back to the line, and here's the fail. That's tipped in front of Belfort's side. Green out in front of his own net. A close call for Eastwood as he knocked it off Green's step. The Leafs are forcing the play again. In on the boards, they fight for it. Chelios, tireless out there for Chicago. He got it up on the line, but it's still in there. There's a chance. And the shot with Pearson off balance, blocked by Belfour. 3.45 remaining in the third, and the Blackhawks shoot it down the ice and make wholesale changes again. The big crowd is roaring now with 3.30 remaining in the third period. Pearson going up and running over his man, but here come three Hawks. Poulin going in with Eisenberg, that's blocked. Stops the play. There's going to be another penalty call. It was Eisenberg this time who got nailed and went into the net behind the pot fan. Some great hockey in front of us now in this third game of the series. Jamie McCown for cross checking. Comes with 3.21 remaining. Chicago leading 5 to 4. And they'll go on the power play. Chris Chelios. Just played six minutes and 24 straight seconds. Took about 18 seconds off and is back out there. This guy is a marathoner. Chalios having a word with Jeremy Roenick and now Tony Amati. Amati has four goals in the hockey game. The Blackhawks were up 3 0. And 5-3 in the game. It's 5-4 now. And they're on the power play. They could put this away. Chelios passes off to the right boards. Heronic to Chelios. High shot. Knocked down in front of Puck. That Chelios coming in there again. It's cleared out over the line, though, where Suter had drifted. Poked it through to Heronic. He shot it. And that was full force on the referee and nailed him. Paul Stewart. He's a tough customer. He's had a few of those in his days. Shakes it off, and the Blackhawks shake it up. And they come to center. Chelios once again leading the attack. Dumping a soft one into the corner. The Leafs are on it to clear it out, and Suter again have come back a bit. And they have to come back on side. 110 left in the penalty. To McCown. It's right in there for Murphy. Amade, ever present in front of Papa. Just missed getting another great chance. The Blackhawks and the Leafs both change now. One minute gone in McCown's minor penalty. 5-4 Chicago. 2.15 left in the third period. Toronto moving it out. Up to center. Weinrich stopped it. Got away from Gilmore. 
Hits inside the line, and there's Lefebvre getting it ahead, and Gilmore didn't see the pass. Bell four dead. Shot it on the boards to Isabard. He tapped it loose for Pullen. Pullen up over the leaf line. Going to the far side with Rutu in there. He takes the pass. Back to the line. Weinrich to Rutu. Rutu waits. A pass stopped by Gartner. 20 seconds left in the leaf penalty. Gartner is moving out. Put one in there for Baranoff. Trying to pick it up. And he was covered by the Chicago defenseman, Kearney. And now the play call. The high stick making contact. Nine seconds left in the leaf penalty to McCown. And in the third period, a minute and a half. Timeout called. Sutter talking to his workhorses. He's got a few of them out there tonight. Or his brother Rich. He has been on that often in this third period. His brother as he worked hard for this Chicago team in a defensive role. Chris Chelios, as Harry has mentioned. The faceoff, by the way, will be just outside the Chicago line. Detroit up on San Jose. They're at it out west. 2 nothing. So the Red Wings got a scare from the Sharks. Now seem to have things under control. Right here, Chicago leads 5-4. to four. A minute and a half left. Long shot by Allen. That got by everybody. And Bell four, but missed the net. 120 left. Chelios back of the net with McCown on the ice penalty over. He is going off on a change. So now with 112 left, icing the call against Chicago. We're down a minute and 10 seconds left in the third, and the Leafs within one of the tying this game. Well, Pat Burns got what he wants. 110 to go. I'm sure he'll take Pot Van out. You never know whether you're going to get another offensive zone faceoff. Chris Chelios tried a long pass up the middle. He didn't complete it, and it cost him 200 feet and gives the least a chance to put six skaters on. And we'll set it up for the six skaters on Toronto's side now. Clark, Andrichuk, Marinoff, Gilmore, Gardner, and Ellen. Chicago with Brent Sutter to take the draw, and he wins it smartly into the corner. The Leafs keep it in. They're net empty, remember? There's one shot. Rebound goes back to the net to Gartner, trying to dump it out front. Leaves it behind the net and hit escape. Hit the referee, it goes back to the goal, and now it's Alex storming in from the blue line. Back of the net is Clark. Chelios there trying to lift it out, but they've gone high over the glass into the crowd, and the faceoff is going to be inside the Chicago line with 49.8 seconds remaining in regulation time. Chris Chelios has gone over the 32 minute mark tonight. His defense partner Gary Suter is over the 30 minute mark. In a game with the intensity this one's had, the hitting it's had, that is more than a good night's work. 49 seconds to go. The Leafs have the goalie out there down by one. Face off to the right of Ed Belfour. Again, the Blackhawks win the draw. Andra Chuck goes back to the net, however. Andra Chuck sent it into the crease. They find the way out of it in there. Trent took a whack at it and another. And Belfort somehow keeps it out. Now we're down to 41.8 seconds remaining. Naturally, this draws a crowd as the Leafs are forcing the play with Puck Fan on the bench. The sixth skater on there buzzing inside the Chicago blue line. And watch this scramble. Balfour had it. No Leaf could jam it loose. Well, they got nine seconds to the right side of the clock, did the Hawks. But the faceoff is still in their zone. Gilmore again. On the faceoff for Toronto. Brent Center has been great winning these faceoffs. I'm sure he'll skate in to square off with Gilmore again. Center goes back to say something to Ed Balfour. 41.8 seconds remaining in regulation time. The Leafs trying to send this one to overtime. Sutter told Belfort he's going to draw the puck and be ready for it. Sutter is way down. Got to get that stick down first. He's out. Ronick is in. He's not too shabby. 
but he can't win it. But he jumps on the loose puck, trying to move it out, and does. It goes to center. Dave Ellett, the only one there to play it back in, and Chelios will try to shoot it out again and does. All the way down the ice, it'll be icing against Chicago. 27.3 seconds remaining in regulation time. The Chicago Blackhawks five. Toronto Maple Leafs four shots are dead even at 33 apiece. And, and now another face off to the right of Belfort. And I've got the chances to score dead even at 18 apiece. The Hawks can't get rid of the Leafs. They had them three nothing. They had them five three. They're 27 seconds away from winning their first playoff game after losing 10 in a row. Here's the face off. The Blackhawks storm back of the net. It's going to be stopped by Miranov. He put a shot in there, hit a leg. And Rachuk takes it. 19 seconds remaining. The Blackhawks are taking it out. And the long shot that just missed. It was deflected one of the goal. And Rachuk trying to keep it in. 10 seconds remaining. The crowd rolling now. And they get it to the line and out. The Blackhawks are going to win this game. This game is over. Chicago leading 3-0 and leading 5-3. Watch the Leafs come back a couple of times. But they held them off in the end and win this game 5-4. And the series now is a 2-1 margin for these Toronto Maple Leafs.